airdrop is not working. How can I do? Hey, I'm Evan from Phonepop. Welcome back to the channel. Well, today I'll tell you six good ways to fix airdrop not working problem. Especially the last one, which 99% of people don't know. Now, hit the like and subscribe buttons and join me to fix it now. Now, let's have a look at the first fix. AirDrop relies on Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, so you should make sure they both turn it on. Step 1. Launch settings. Step 2. Tap Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Tap the switch next to them to toggle it off. Then, tap it again to turn it on. Step 1. Click the control center icon of the menu bar. Step 2. Then, click the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi icon to toggle the switches next to them. You can check whether you have switched your airdrop to everyone. Step 1. Launch settings. Step 2. General. Airdrop. Everyone for 10 minutes. Step 1. Open Finder. Select a drop from the Finder sidebar. Step 2. Click Allow me to be discovered by and select everyone. By the way, if you need to transfer large files with multiple types, you can try Funko iOS Transfer, a really useful tool for you to transfer files between iOS devices. It can transfer data quickly and avoid quality loss. Try it for free and get the download link from the description below. Now, let's come back to the AirDrop tips. If your personal hotspot is on, AirDrop won't work, so you must turn it off. Step 1. Launch the control center. Step 2. Long press the Bluetooth button. If the personal hotspot button is green, tap it to close your hotspot. Fix 4. A locked iPhone isn't available to receive files via AirDrop. You should make sure the target phone is turned on and unlocked. AirDrop can be used on any iPhone running iOS 7 or later, iPad running iPad OS 13 and later, and Mac running OS X 10.10 or higher, so you can check your version and update it if needed. Open Settings. Select General, Software Update. Here, you can view the version of your device. Click on the Apple logo, then select About this Mac. In the Overview window, you can check your Mac OS version of your computer. If you are trying AirDrop to your Mac, you should make sure that your firewall settings allow for new connections. Fix 6. Step 1. Click the Apple logo in the menu bar. Then, click System Preferences. Select Security and Privacy. Step 2. Click the log icon in the bottom left corner of the screen and enter your admin password or use touch ID to make changes. Select the Firewall tab. Step 3. Click Firewall Options. Uncheck the box next to the Block All Incoming Connection. Check the box next to automatically allow built-in software to receive incoming connections. Do these fixes work? If you want to know more about iPhone tips, for example, how to recover deleted photos, video from iPhone without backup, subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.